Hello and welcome to my art gallery. In this video, I'm going to make a tier list. I'm going to show you my favourite paintings in Minecraft and those that are less good. So, let's get running inside and show you my fantastic art gallery. Here it is. Wow, I built this myself. The first painting I'll review is Skull on Fire. I don't quite like this one. It's a very big painting, but aside from that, the colour scheme doesn't really appeal to me. Here's a side-by-side -side shot with the actual real painting. And I don't know, it's good, but I don't rate it that good. Art is a personal preference after all, but this for me is a C tier. Mainly due to the colour scheme and the composition. I don't like how the elements are laid out. The next one is DE Aztec. This painting is based on a Counter-Strike map called Aztec. It's certainly a step up from Skull on Fire. I like the colours in it, it's a pretty good painting really, but for me it's only a B tier. It's one of the smallest paintings you can get, and it's pretty good. I'd use this in a survival house for sure. The next painting is also called Aztec. This one's a bit too grey and blocky for me, I don't like it so much. I'll put this in the D tier because I don't like this one at all really. Could be useful in a lighthouse or an industrial house, but I don't really like this one. Now I'm going to head over to this little nook and cranny and show you these four paintings. This one's called The Pool. Now the real painting is pretty good. It's a surrealist Minecraft painting. The colours are excellent and I quite like the composition, but in Minecraft I don't know what I'm looking at. Is it a sausage? It's really weird. This for me is an F tier painting in the game. In real life it's alright to be honest, but in game I don't like it. It's a bit weird. The next painting is called The Backyard. It's really big in game but I like this one. There's something about the colours that just stand out to me. That's no doubt an A tier. It's really nice. The Albanian is a super painting in my opinion. I love the colours and I love the composition in the game, but the real painting is trash. I actually think the pixelated version is better than the original. Ah well, in game this is an S tier painting, no doubt, I use this all the time. I don't like targets successfully bombed, it's just a rubbish painting. The real painting is no good either. That's Dust 2 isn't it from Counter Strike, I don't like it though. I mean, I like Counter-Strike and I like Dust 2, but I don't like that painting. Sadly, that's a D tier painting for me. It doesn't do anything. The next painting over here is called Graham. I really, really like this painting and I use it all the time in my houses. It's just funny because who is he? <laughs> the real life painting is a bit weird, isn't it really? But you know, I'm glad they just focused on Graham and not the cucumbers and hanging vegetables. That's just odd. But Graham is good, this is a super tier painting. It's hilarious, we don't know who he is, why he's even there. He's not a representative of the game in any way, but I like this painting. It's very good because it's simplistically silly. But Match, the painting called Match, I really despise. It's one of those paintings that always appears on my walls when I'm trying to put a painting up and I don't want it. It's the painting I least want in my house and I always seem to get this one. Please don't put match on my walls, I don't like this. F tier. I also don't like the void, it makes absolutely no sense to me, and again, it appears on the walls all the time when I try and hang a painting. It's just not a good painting, and the real life painting is also fairly bad. It just makes no sense to me. F tier. Let me scooch over to these next five paintings. This painting is called Paradise Street. Now, I've tried my best Swedish accent there, I think that's right. I like this painting, it's very good. It's got a decent composition and I like the colours, it's pretty good. The real life painting is a bunch of herbs and I like them. That's an S tier painting just because it's good. It's a very good painting, what are you going to do about it? I mean, of course you could subscribe if you want to. <laughs> the next painting is called Kebab med tre pepperoni, which means with three pepperonis. I quite like this painting actually and the real life one is really good. It's an A tier painting painting because I'm hungry. It's a bit of a pixelated mess, but it's still good. You know, the greens and the reds, they're really good together. And the painting called Tides is alright. I don't think it's functional in the game because it's too big. But I don't know, I like this painting, it's got some potential and I like the colours. Blue is alright, a lot of people don't like blue but it's good, you know, a lot of things are blue in nature, this is a B tier. The painting called Meditative is really nice. It's by Sarah Boving, I can't find the original I'm afraid but it's a really good painting this. It totally fits in with the aesthetic of Minecraft and it looks like a rose. This is an A tier painting for sure, I love it. Wasteland is a pretty good painting. It's a little bit too yellow, so it's got some niche uses, but it's a very good painting. I'm gonna give this a B tier, because I find this painting a little strange. It's just a blob of yellow, but the original painting is quite tasty. It has a little rabbit. I can't see that on the pixelated version, though. 
Let's head over to these paintings. This one's called Bonjour Monsieur Corbett. And I don't like it. It's too pixelated and I can't tell what's going on. The real picture is a drawing. It's two mirrored dudes going for a walk in the Swedish countryside, I think. And it's not a bad drawing, but in-game, the pixelated version of it is horrible to look at and it looks like a broken television or something. I have to rate this as an F tier. I don't like it. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but it just doesn't look very good, does it? And the next one is Passage. It's a little bit better than the previous, but I'm not sure I like this one exactly. The painting is pretty good, I give you that, but I'm going to give this a D tier because I don't really like it that much. It's rather large and cumbersome for small houses. This painting is called Unpacked. It's by Sarah Boving again, so I can't find the original. She's quite secretive about her artwork, which is understandable. It's a massive painting, but I don't really like this one that much. I'll put that as a C tier because there's more colours and you know it's a Minecraft painting, so it's got some credit. Ooh, that's a fancy fish tank. Look at them zebra fish. And this painting is called Sunflowers. I quite like this one, you know. I like flowers in paintings. They're really good, you know. Can't find the original for this either, but it's a nice painting. Very large and cumbersome to use, but I would definitely give this one an A tier. This one's called The Pond. I quite like it. It's a very big painting. It's pretty impractical in most houses, but I do like this painting, and that's what I'm here for. The original is interesting. It's got a decent composition and the colours are good, you know? I'm going to give this an A tier. I like that one. It's a little bit large, but huh. As I head over here, I'm going to find a bunch more paintings. And this one's called Wither. This is the first painting in Minecraft that's not based on a real painting. It's literally done with pixels just for the game. And it looks great. This is a super painting and I've given it an S tier. The colours, the subject matter, the composition, it's really good, you know, I like this one. And it's not too big, so you can easily use this in a house and not have to make a massive wall. This painting is called Wanderer. It's a pretty good painting and I sometimes use this in my houses. I like the composition and the real painting is quite decent. I'm glad they focused on just the man instead of having all the other stuff, actually. It's not too big of a painting and I really like this one. I've given this an A tier. The next painting is called Kong. I'm not a huge fan of this painting. If I've got a giant wall space and I put the painting up, this one appears every time. The real painting is strange and I really don't get on with this one. This is a low down one for me. I'm going to give it an F tier. Sorry if you like it, but I don't like this one. If I spin round, there's some bizarre armaments <laughs> nicely decorated in the museum. And then we can talk about Burn. This painting doesn't do so much for me. It's not as bad as Kong, but I'm going to leave this as a D tier painting. There's something about that unnatural blocky fire that kind of disturbs me, even though I'm in a blocky universe right now. It's a little bit too big. I'm not a big fan of this one, although I do like plants in paintings, but not that weird fire thing. Over here is a strange sculpture of a creeper's head and a painting called Cave Bird. It's not bad, it's a little bit better than the previous one. You could use this in a house and I'm going to give this one a C tier. It's not too bad, you know. And the next painting is Bouquet. I'm not a big fan of this one again as well. This is going to be low down on the list, I'm afraid to say. This is going to be a D tier. There's something wrong with the composition, which could be a good thing, but not in this case. I don't like that one, I'm sorry. The next painting is Low Mist. I quite like this one. I would use it in certain houses for sure. I'm going to give it a C tier because it's not an ideal painting, but it's still really good. I'd use this one. Hey, look, there's some museum staff. I really like it here. High five. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's look at the next painting. It's called Creebit. And for me, this is a really, really good painting. It's based on a painting called Seaside by Christopher Zetterstrand. Most of these weird and strange oil paintings are by that artist, and he's pretty good. I do like some of the artwork, but this one in-game is certainly a pick. I would use this in every house all the time if I could. That's a super tier painting. I just love it. The composition's nice, blue and green. It's just really nice, isn't it? And the next painting is called Pointer. This is a huge painting, and I'm not a big fan of this one. Again, it's one of those that always appears on a big open wall when I put a painting up. I've given this an F tier because I don't want to use this one ever. It just looks hideous. Turn around and play the note block real quick, and then we can look at fighters. I like the composition, and the real painting is quite good. I would use this as a television or something, you know? I've given this a B tier because I would use this one sometimes. And this is called Humble. It's based on American Gothic, that very famous painting, and I like this one. It's very pixelated, it completely fits in the game. I do use this one from time to time. It's a good painting, it's not too big, and I like the colours and design on this one. I've given it an S tier. I like that one. The next painting is called Pig Scene. It's a very weird painting. 
writing, but I quite like this one. I'm going to give it a C tier because it's a little bit too big, but I do like this one. It's based on a painting called RGB. I guess the Minecraft team preferred the pig's face, which does look cool. It's not bad, but it's a little large, isn't it? As we spin round, we can see Prairie Ride. I quite like this painting. It's very decent. I like the low profile of the painting, so I'm going to give this an A tier. It's by Sarah Boving again, so I'm sorry I can't find the original. But it's a very good painting, and I do hang this up in my houses, especially in the Badlands. Behind me is End Boss. I don't like this painting. It's a little bit too pixelated, and I can't really tell what's going on. I like the chessboard because I love chess. The original is a bit strange, but it's not bad, you know, but sadly I'm going to give this an F tier. I don't want to use this in any of my builds, but I might do one day. The next painting is called The Stage is Set. The original painting looks nothing like the one in game, which is probably a good thing. It's a bit lower down on the list. I'm going to give this a D tier. It's just not an amazing painting, but it's okay. It's better than Kong. This one is called Skull and Roses. I quite like this painting. The original's just a bit big and 3D and weird. But in-game, you know what you're getting. A skull with roses and it's very blue. I hang this one up sometimes and I'm going to put this as a B-tier painting. It's not bad at all, this one. Here is Owl Lemons. At first I thought this was a really big owl, but it's not. It's an owl cutout in a box with some lemons. At first glance, I thought this is too big and hideous to use, but no, I really, really love this painting. I've given it a super tier and I think it's the best painting in the game, actually. It's just dark enough and weird enough to hang up. Over there's a chest. Let's see what's inside. Oh, nothing. And there's a strange installation. It's like a sofa. Over here is Seaside. Now, the Seaside painting is also based on the original called Seaside, just like Creebit. I quite like this painting, really. I'm going to rate this as an A tier. It's not as good as Creebit, the one with the creeper head in it, but it's still a good painting, and I do use this. Sunset Dents is a very nice painting. It's a very standard kind of painting that you'd hang up in a living room. I like this one, and I'm going to give it a B tier. Next is Baroque. I quite like it. It's going to be a C tier because sometimes I hang up a painting and this one appears and I don't want this one. You know how it randomly chooses the paintings. So I end up bashing this one down and changing it. But it is good. I like the cake and the pot. That's nice. Next painting is Changing. I find this one to be annoying with those weird flames again. I don't want to use this in any of my builds. Maybe I'll use it as a plasma TV or something one day. But sadly, that's just going to be an F tier. It doesn't really do anything for me. The next painting is called Bust. It's got that weird fire on it again, but it's not that bad. I'm going to give it a D tier because I don't like it that much. I try not to use this one in my builds if I can avoid it. And the next painting is called Kotan with a golden apple and golden watermelon. Yeah, actually, it's not bad, really, but I'm going to give this a D tier. I'm going to tidy up my little tier list in a minute, but I'm not sure I like this one, really. It's going to be a D tier. Oh, look, there's a creeper in a box. That's very strange, isn't it? Hey, mate, why is that there? Oh, okay. Well, this one is called Mortal Coil. It's another one of those paintings that just appear when I'm trying to put something else. A skeleton in a shoe. That's what it looks like. I don't like this painting. It's going to be an F tier. I'm sorry if you like this one. Over here is Orb. Hey, excuse me, please. I'm trying to view this. Orb is pretty good. It's a little bit too dark, but I'm going to give this a C tier. I would use this in a bigger house, for sure. It's very gothic looking. The last painting is called Finding. The real oil painting is a man doing some finding. I quite like this painting, but I'm going to put this in D tier as well. The composition on the original is great, but in game it's just a bit odd. I don't know where to put this one, really. So that's the tour of my little art gallery finished. I've looked at all the other paintings. Isn't this a really nice place I've built? All the paintings in the game, as of now, are in this gallery. So let's tidy up the list a bit. I'm going to move Skull and Roses there and try and tidy up a few of these. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. The C tier. I might move some of these. I like the pig face one a bit better than that. And Baroque. I quite like that one too. Hmm, what can I do with Orb? I might leave that. The D tier looks okay, but Kotan I'm going to move to the top because I do like that one sometimes. The F tier list. Just going to see if I can shift some of those around. That's a really bad one. It's not as bad as Kong, but <laughs> I really don't like that Kong one. And for the S tier, I like Creebit. I think everything else is pretty sweet in the list. Might move the rose up a bit and Wanderer, because I do use that from time to time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Move up the prairie ride and then that's my tier list complete. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you have. Send me a comment about your favourite paintings. I really hope it's not Kong. I'm Ixicle, and I'll see you next time.